this because um, as I was watching the tutorial, the my Minecraft game froze and uh, and stopped working. And when I restarted it, my recording window was confused by that. So I had to stop that recording, which it was just paused, and start a new one. So I'm hoping that it actually recorded um, the things that we wanted it to. But anyway, we're back. And what I'm doing now is pretty annoying. We have to get down to Y level one, or uh, actually 93. Y level 93. I thought this might be the best way to get down rather than go jumping down and then trying to pillar back up to that level because, mostly because I only had one stack of uh, temporary <laughs> blocks. <laughs> so, so I'm just going to work my way back down to 93. Um, after each raid, after we kill all of the raiders and then, you know, pick up Bad Omen again from killing the captains, this is all very, um, you know, the, the, uh, the position of the farm is very critical for all of that stuff, right? You can only pick up Bad Omen again if you are if you are a certain number of blocks outside of the center of the village when you kill that raider if you're inside the inside that radius the game doesn't give you bad omen because it assumes that you're killing the uh, raiders that have raided that village if you're just playing this normally so you have to be kind of outside of that whole area and then when you do that and you kill a, a captain then it does give you bad omen. So it will give us bad omen when we're killing everybody from up there. But then what we have to do is drop down again, down to a level that puts us within a certain range of our village so that we can trigger another raid with that bad omen. And anyway, that's what we're doing now. We are going to pillar down here to Y level... 93. So anyway, I'm going to keep doing this, guys, and uh, we'll pick you up again when we're finished. Okay, guys, here we are. And if you look, I'm gonna, sorry about this. I'm going to turn that off. I keep that on way too much. I know it's annoying for everybody. Um, so anyway, here is level 93. I'll keep, you know, in the left-hand corner, you can see my mini HUD looking at numbers but on the side of this thing where the village is we need to place a glass block at this height y equal 93 and then we can place a chest on top of that and this is what we're going to land on we're going to land on a waterlogged chest just like we have in our um like we have in our the other drop shafts that we've built in our mining area etc sorry it was kind of hard to place that <laughs> the chest is lower so you can't just hang off the edge and place something because you're blocking the placement so you have to figure out a way to place a block next to that okay so this is our this is our drop shaft that we're going to drop down here and we'll be in range of the village from here if you're interested in seeing how that works it's um it's in Logic's tutorial, but just very quickly, I'm going to turn on the chunk boundaries. And you can see, I hope I've, I hope I've not made a mistake. I didn't check those. I didn't think it was important to build it. Yeah, we'll find out. I, I'm thinking it might have been better to build it, try to get most of it all in the same chunk, but we're crossing chunk boundaries right here. I don't think that matters, but anyway, um, if you look carefully, this 
chunk boundary. If you if you've never seen this before, it's uh, F3 and then press the G key. F3 and G turns that on and then off again. And you can see a lot of information. You can see there's different colors: yellow, red. Yellow defines just the overall boundary, all the way to build height and all the way down to bedrock. And the red lines show something else, <laughs> but these blue lines are what we're interested in right now. This is the um, this is the boundary of the what is called a subchunk, and a subchunk is a 16 by 16 boundary. So you can see it goes from there down 16 blocks, and there's the next subchunk. And the rules for um, getting the rules for triggering a raid when you have bad omen is you have to be in a three by three subchunk location. So if the village, if you are within three subchunks in all directions, up, down, you know, north, south, east, west, any direction, in a three by three subchunk area, then the raid will, will trigger. <clears throat> I'm really not happy that I don't have an extra bucket of water. Um, well, anyway, without the water, we're going to go ahead and build this out, and then I'm going to make a daring leap, actually, to try to... <laughs> um, so what we're going to do is add two blocks here, two blocks here. I think I need to break these. I'm just going to waste these uh, glass. Put signs there. So... Um, so this is our strategy. When we fall down here and trigger the raid, we're just going to run back over here to this. Okay, so now we just need to build this tube um, all the way up to the same height. And uh, But first, first I'm going to do a little daredevil action. This is probably going to be a big death-causing derp, but um, I'll let, I'm going to do this on camera. I'm going to go get another bucket of water. That'll be the price I have to pay for being so disorganized. Okay, we're going to... I don't think there's any way I can get out. No, I can't. Oh, there it was. You know, I might try that before I try this leap of death. What I was going to try and do is jump down. Where's my... Oh, the chest isn't showing chest isn't showing because they don't they don't render in what I was going to try and do is jump down and place this bucket of water right before I land on it let's try it fail <laughs> I got I got too close and opened the chest instead of placing it but as I, as I was hoping, our uh, feather falling saved our lives. So, look, there's another, there's another creeper floating up. That is the weirdest thing. I guess when we jumped down in the water, that caused him to... Uh... Okay, let's get another bucket. When we jumped down in the water, he saw us and came after us, I guess. I, I don't know. Okay, so I'm going to try and escape here. See if that's possible. Yes, it is. Amazing. Okay, so now we're just going to pull her back up um, to the top there. And, uh, you know, just normal, normal pillaring activity here. So uh, we'll see you when we get uh, back to the top and we're ready to start the next phase. Well, okay, guys, we are back at the top. We've pillared back up. So now we've got all of our um, bubble columns and drop shafts completed, I think. And we're going to build the um, killing platform at this level. And then we'll go up in the air again with a drop tube and 
you know, and build the spawning platform and the redstone timing mechanism and, uh, and all that kind of stuff. Okay, guys, welcome back. Here we are back up at, uh, at the top of our raid, raid farm so far anyway. And the next step is to create this um, platform. And this is going to be, now, I want to make sure I get this in the right direction. I think the uh, village needs to be on our left-hand side. This needs to be the drop shaft, and that needs to be the bubble column left and right. So let's uh, start this process. We're going to use um, slabs, and we're going to use deep slate tile. Again, that seems to be our favorite um, favorite at the moment. <laughs> so uh, it's it's going the platform is going to start here and it's going to be five wide, one, two, three, four, five, and it's going to be seven long. We're obviously going to leave holes here for our elevator and drop two. So it's going to be seven long altogether. So one, two, three. Four, five, six, seven. Ooh, I had a little lag spike there. My computer is getting pretty old, actually. It's about five years old now. It was awesome when I built it, um, but it's not awesome anymore. So here we go. This is our this is our platform and our drop tube. We will drop down on that chest, which is waterlogged. And then we'll run over here and pop back up. This is how we trigger new raids every time. Anyway, um, so that's how that's going to work. And then over here, if you look, we should be pretty close. Right there is our composter. So it's a few blocks away. Okay, we're back, and this is going to be completely temporary because eventually we're going to make ourselves a really nice um, a really nice um, storage system with, you know, um, sorting capability so that we can filter out the stuff that we eventually don't need. But this is going to kind of be our witch farm. As well, uh, you know, it's it's pretty inefficient, but um, do I have a bucket of water? I do. So for right now, I think we're just going to go down two blocks. Um, I think we'll be okay if we just drop a bucket of water here. So um, we're just going to go down one more chest for now. And... Uh, Sure, there's a better way to do that, but um, yeah, yeah. In fact, I'm really sure there's a better way to do that. We got this chest all monkey draw in the wrong position. Um, needs to go like that. Now we need a hopper on that side of it. Can we place it here? Yeah, we can. Okay, so there's that. We're gonna, just going to have, I mean, two chests <laughs> are going to be like totally worthless for all this stuff. We're just going to be constantly filtering stuff out of these chests, but that's good enough to get us started. We might, I don't know what we might do. We'll figure it out, but right now this is going to be good. So, um... So this is what we've got for now. Let's put some of this stuff away. We're going to need these comparators and these. Um, that carpet is going to go right there. And then we're going to build a, another tube. So that what we're going to do is 
build another a drop shaft for the um, for the mobs, which will be. here okay so now I'm now I'm organized now we need to take this all up to Y level 188 and we don't have enough glass. We might as well get that out now. Um, we're going to need more signs. We don't need more kelp. We're going to need a lot more boats. I brought a, I brought a, a stack of logs to make boats with. But anyway, that ought to give us enough to get started. Okay, let's take this up to Y level 188. And I'll see you when we get there. Okay, we are back, and we are at Y level 188. You can see on the uh, left-hand corner. And now what we need to do is build the trench that the uh, raiders are going to fall down into that, are, and, and that a water stream will push them to the drop hole, to this drop hole right here. So we need to be pointing in the right direction. We need to be facing west. And you can see that we are negative x direction up in the left hand corner facing west negative x and just to make sure we're right it should be in the direction that our village is in so it's correct so now we need to add six more blocks here so one two three four five six for a total of seven and then um And then we'll put a sign here. Did I put all my signs away? I did. Okay, we're back. Now we're gonna add a sign right here because this is only seven wide, we're going to eventually put a water source right here. We're going to add a two high wall around here first. And um, we don't need those corners filled. So just to save a little glass, I guess, although we have plenty of glass. I made a little more than I needed because I typically waste a lot, but um, Anyway, we're going to build a two high wall and then place a water source right there, which will stop right before here. That sign will stop it. And this is what's going to flush all the raiders down into our kill hole. Just like that. Okay, well, now we're going to start building the. Um, the spawning platform so we're going to start by using some stairs and this is just this is to to uh, use the trick that we already talked about at our iron farm where the uh, um, when water flushes them off this edge they won't be able to hang on by their toes here if we use stairs if we had a block here they would they'd just stick here on the edge some of them and uh, and that would cause a problem. So now we've got our stairs. And now what we need to do is build our platform using slabs. And so we're going to start here and build a 5x5. Five five. One, two, three, four, five. Yes, it is. It's five, a 5x5 five five of slabs, and it doesn't include the... Uh, so that five by five doesn't include the stairs. So there's three. 
and there's five. I think we need to add one more stair. I think that last stair should be here. Like that. And so here's our spawning space, and I bet you this is our block. If we look, it should be right above the composter and should be right above it. Minus 23, minus 739. Yep, that's exactly it. So right here is like the key block. And, it, and if you go off in the positive X and the positive Z directions, that's how they spawn. They start here and they'll just spawn their way out from there like crazy, actually. And uh, we'll pick it up in the next one. And hopefully we can polish this guy off. So anyway, thanks for watching, guys. See you next episode.